since the dawn of humanity, we have looked to the heavens and wondered what lies beyond our planet and whether we are alone in the universe. The great science of astronomy has helped us to answer some of these questions and better understand who we are. In 1845, the third Earl of Ross built the great Leviathan Telescope in Burr County Offaly. It was the largest telescope in the world for over 70 years and was the first to reveal the spiral arms in galaxies. Now a consortium of Irish universities want Ireland to once again take the lead in astronomy, this time by looking at the universe in radio waves. They propose to build a brand new telescope in Burr as part of a Europe-wide project called LOFAR. LOFAR is an international network of radio telescopes spread all across Europe. It starts off in Holland and then spreads out through France, Germany, right up to Sweden and in through the UK. What we want to do here in Ireland is connect Ireland into that international network. Burr is an ideal location for a new radio telescope and has the potential to become the best site in Europe for radio astronomy. For us, Burr is unique in that it's really, really quiet. There's not an awful lot of radio pollution out here. This is really, really flat cap, which means we can see things that are very, very faint. We can see the radio universe better than anybody else in Europe. The universe, exploding stars, the sun, when there's explosions, emit radio waves. And we're going to tune into those radio waves and listen to the sun, listen to the stars, listen to the early universe using radio waves. All the data from all these different radio telescopes around Europe get piped in through fiber optic cables into a supercomputer, an IBM supercomputer, in Holland, and then all processed and combined to make pictures. Beautiful pictures of blobs flying out from stars and the early universe even expanding. When used together, the LOFAR stations can operate like a single radio dish the size of Europe. Building a LOFAR station in Ireland would increase the size of this effective dish and allow LOFA to show us the universe in as much detail as Hubble. This would be a great step forward for European radio astronomy and put Ireland at the forefront of that development. The expertise gained through LOFA will allow Ireland to become a key contributor in future global radio astronomy projects, such as the Square Kilometre Array. However, there are also other advantages of an Irish LOFA station. I think the impact will be huge in terms of scientific tourism, which we haven't really got into in Ireland, haven't really tapped the potential for in view of our scientific history. We need more technology graduates. We need more graduates who can do mathematics, who can do science, who can do engineering. This project will train up those graduates. There's 4,000 jobs in Ireland right now for technology graduates. This project will help us fill those jobs. The Irish LOFAR Consortium is currently looking for funding to capitalise on this great opportunity. The Europeans have invested 150 million in the LOFAR network. For Ireland, it's about one and a half million for us to get into that project. So a huge potential for Ireland. Although an Irish LOFAR station has not yet been funded, its very idea is already enthusing the Irish public about science and helping to inspire the next generation of Irish scientists. The 2013 European Space Expo held at Trinity College in Dublin is just one example. So it's a lovely evening here in Trinity College in Dublin and we're all gathered inside and we're learning all about how Ireland has a, a key role to play in future space endeavours. Really it's a, it's a chance for us as, as Irish scientists to highlight what LOFAR can give us in terms of jobs and in terms of education, in terms of science. Ireland actually has a really important role to play in space research and it's not something that we traditionally associate Ireland with but when you start scratching the surface you realise that all of our academic institutions are really involved in it. Uh, having so many people come visit the Space Expo this week and we've already had almost 15,000 people and we have another couple of days to go uh, so it's a great opportunity for us to tell them about LOFAR and explain that this is a real good opportunity for this country and we should get behind it. We appeal to all those here and those with whom you may be speaking to support it, endorse it, and bring it to fruition in order to keep this great tradition of scientific achievement back to Burr and back to Ireland again.